All right, Winston, it's uh, cool that you stopped by. Um, yeah, as you know, Churchill, uh, the scientific method, I've been thinking about that for the last couple of days. I want to continue on the discussion that we had about that. And uh, yeah, well, we had this arguing about uh, the, the good and the bad things around scientific methods and how it will sort of influence society in general. If it sort of will have an improvement or actually a, a negative effect. Uh, I see you're standing on a big pile of knowledge, right? That, that, that's for sure, that's for sure. But uh, you gotta be aware, right, that uh, you cannot, uh, yeah, of course, you want your cigar, right? Yeah, I gave you the one first. It looks, looks, looks a little bit dent. I'm wondering what you've done with the cigar lately, right? So yeah, that, that, that's true. Uh, you cannot just stand on the science, right? Uh, you're not, you need to be se self-aware. If you're, if you're self-aware of your sins, then of course you are self-aware of yourself, right? Just like the, uh, just, just like the, you know the this uh, temple in Delphi, right? That was the thing, right? Know thyself, it said, right? That means you should be aware of that you are not God, right? And you just. Uh, Simple man walking on earth. That's that's true. Yeah. You need to know know thyself. That's for sure. I see also you you seem a little bit troubled, right? You're thinking about this goddamned U boats again, right? <laughs> yeah, we we'll all have our problems. Yeah, that's for sure, that's for sure. That's for sure, and uh, I have my problem with uh, with science, right? You know, we uh, we talked about last time about science, and you wanted me to describe what is the scientific method, right? What is the scientific method? That's the question. Yeah, it's true that uh, the scientific method is just a tool, right? And that means it doesn't give you any truth. It doesn't say that something is good or something is bad or that something is true or something is false. That doesn't work, right? It's an evidence-based technique, you know. You... But actually what you're doing is uh, you have some theory about how the world actually operates. And then you want to predict what will happen. That is the most fundamental question used by astronomers and since ancient times. How will tomorrow turn out? You want to predict that. The scientific method is just a way that you try to describe the world with some kind of model and then you just verify it by experiments. You wait and see, the next day comes, the sunrise, and you see what's happened. If it's the same thing, the outcome is the same as your model. Well, then you can be satisfied. Your model seems to be accurate. But it's not true, right? You cannot prove that it's true, right? You can only say that it holds perhaps one day more. The strength in the, with the scientific method lies in the, in the part when the model fails with the outcome of the experiment. When the tomorrow is not like the, what the model described, then you know it is wrong. The model is false. That, was, that is the strength of the scientific method.
to falsify your theory. Doesn't matter if you like it, if it's beautiful, or if it is art. It is wrong. Just wrong. And there is no feelings involved in that from the scientific method perspective. Well, you yourself might be sad, angry, or have some other feelings. But you need to just accept that. It's just a tool. So the scientific method you can use to prove things that's, that's wrong, right? To prove, you don't prove things are wrong, you prove models are wrong. You cannot say anything about how the world actually is, what's the purpose of the world, and uh, well, what is the meaning of life and things like that. Uh, that was the ancient Greek, Greeks that did those kind of philosophy discussion. I mean, there's no, no way to handle it, but it can be a, a very pleasant discussion around it, but uh, doesn't, doesn't fit the scientific method, cannot be used for that. Can only be used to describe how the world operates. And uh, we do that through our models. So, so scientific method is very simple, simple technique actually. But it's very powerful. Powerful indeed. Well, is science good or bad? I would say that the scientific method, it's just a tool, right? A tool cannot be good or bad, right? It's the guy that's holding the tool that makes it good or bad, or make the guy good or bad. That's for sure. You can uh, resemble the scientific method with uh, a knife, right? The knife you can use to cut down the fruits of the tree of knowledge with and make it very uh, easy accessible and then you can feed the people with the fruits, right? You can also, you can also use the knife to carve out a marvelous statue in wood. Just like the, that Donatello did, right? So this uh, Mary Magdalene wood piece of art. That was just beautiful, right? So that's that scientific method, right? In its purest form. But you could, uh, you could also use the knife to coin someone of something, to gain something for yourself, or for some political reasons, or whatever the cause is. But if you're using the knife in a situation like that, then that's it's called a threat, right? And if you actually continue on that path, down that dark alley, then that threat, after you have taken what is not meant for you, then that is called robbery, right? And the end of that line is murdering. Yeah. The scientific method has been used in that way many times and it's all boils down to know thyself yeah you need to realize that no matter how good the tool is if the scientific method is given by God just like the fruit of knowledge you know the snake tricked us saying that we will be given the, um, uh, the ability of the gods to distinguish between right and wrong, between good and evil. 
But the catch was we will not be gods and we cannot sort of take care of the situation that will emerge. Same thing with the scientific method. We need to be self-aware that it's just a method. It cannot save, save us. No technology, no tools or methods can save us from this medieval darkness that we sort of is turning back into. That's for sure. The only thing that develops man and mankind is the develop of ourself. Know thyself. By knowing thyself, you become self-aware. And by doing that, you improve yourself and you improve society and mankind. Just like the U-boats was just technology. It cannot win in the end. That's for sure, sure, sure. That's for sure.